Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Today I'm excited to introduce you to the next generation in data center high performance storage. We call it the all flash array dot next. If you look at today's data center, the, the king of the hill right now is the all flash array. Uh, many data centers now have this technology. They're using it to drive Oracle, MySQL, uh, Microsoft SQL, VMware, all those type of applications. Typically, uh, these arrays are running uh, around 150,000 to 300,000 IOPS. Uh, that's often a, a mixed load of uh, both reads and writes. Uh, interestingly enough, you hardly ever see them mention what a, a straight sustained uh, write uh, performance is. Uh, we would tend to think that it's uh, typically less than uh, 20,000 uh, write IOPS. The other thing that's interesting about this technology today is generally speaking, uh, even though the cost of flash media has come down dramatically, the, the buy price of these systems has stayed uh, stagnant and in fact in many cases is actually increasing. So we looked at this market and said how can we do better? And so like I said we came out with a product that we called uh, the we are calling the all flash array dot next. And what's different about it as you can see here most all flash arrays today use TLC uh, as their media of choice. We're going to replace that TLC with four Optane drives and four QLC drives to start. Now what happens as a result of doing that is we fundamentally change the performance capabilities of this environment. So no, more, no longer are you limited to this type of performance. With the all flash array dot next, we are seeing a sustained uh, 1.2 million IOPS in reads and a 300,000 sustained write IOPS. So dramatically better performance in the environment. Maybe most importantly, this is less than the price of um, most all flash arrays on the market today. Most importantly, we're delivering all the enterprise class features while we're also offering that performance. So that's our uh, classic uh, data protection uh, feature set, which includes high availability, so no single points of failure, uh, snapshots, so that we can uh, take an unlimited number of snapshots for an indefinite period of time, fundamentally replacing the need for daily backups. Third is our V-RAID technology, for protection from media failure. We are using Optane as storage here, so that we ha we are pro so we're providing uh, protection from media failure. Uh, so that is all protected. Fourth is our direct write technology, which in this solution is particularly important because of the high uh, write IOP potential uh, of the technology. So we don't waste time with a, a RAM cache or anything like that. We just write directly to Optane. So any uh, new or modified data is taken full benefit of what Intel, all the work Intel did with the Intel Optane technology. So that direct write uh, capability is really critical to the solution. And then finally, our replication technology that allows us to do both a synchronous mirror as well as asynchronous replication to a disaster recovery site. So you're completely protected. All the features you expect in a data center class storage solution are there but at with unprecedented levels of performance and while reducing costs. A final feature that's really important to this solution is our S1 tier. And it really pulls the whole solution together. What S1 tier allows us to be able to do is have writes coming in to this Optane tier 
so you can get full benefit of the performance. The Optane tier starts at a three terabytes raw and can expand up from there. As data settles, these writes uh, tend to settle in the course of hours, days, or maybe even weeks. What we do is then automatically move those to the QLC tier in a nice big sequential write. Sequential writes are ideal uh, for QLC. They are less dis disruptive. Uh, and also because the data doesn't ch change as much anymore, we're not gonna be rewriting a lot of data. So we get maximum life expectancy out of the QLC tier. The other thing that's important, again, because of our technology is the read performance off of that QLC tier is excellent. And so instead of most hybrid solutions like this would have to uh, move data uh, to the upper tier if it was being if the older data was being accessed, what we do is actually serve the write directly from the QLC tier. So if you're accessing older data, we can actually give it right back to the application right from the QLC tier. And so what that enables us to do is maintain consistent performance throughout the environment as well. So now you may look at this and say, what do I need 1.2 million IOPS uh, for or 300,000 write IOPS for? And, and the truth is you may not. The other feature that's really important here is we have incredibly low latency. So the combination of that high performance and that low latency is gonna allow you to do something you haven't been able to do for a while in your environment is you can scale these environments to new levels. So in Microsoft SQL and in Oracle, that means many, many more users per server. We're gonna make those servers work harder. Uh, most of these applications are charged on a per core basis. So now you'll be able to get more users per core and end up buying less software licenses. In VMware, you'll be able to increase your VM density. Same basic logic there, less physical servers to buy and also less uh, VMware licenses. So this, is, this technology is gonna lower software costs and it's going to improve performance while all at the same time lowering storage costs because it's less expensive than an all flash array. To learn more about allflasharray.next, uh, please go to our website, storeone.com.